At the 50th annual meeting of the American Society of Hematology in San Francisco, this is Bob Finn reporting for the Elsevier Global Medical Network. Patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia benefit when rituximab, a monoclonal antibody, is added to standard chemotherapy. This immunochemotherapy, or FCR as it's called, has now been tested in two large, randomized, placebo-controlled trials. Dr. Tadeusz Robach of the Medical University of Lotz, Poland, conducted a study of 552 patients with CLL who had already failed first-line treatment. Dr. Robach spoke at a press briefing. So, we ob obtained significantly higher percentage of complete remissions to overall remissions in patients treated with fludarabine, cyclophosphamide, and rituxin. The difference was statistically significant and translated into prolongation of progression pre survival in patients treated with FCR. The duration of progression pre survival, primary endpoint of the study, was 10 months longer in patients treated with rituximab combined with. And Dr. Michael Halleck of the University of Cologne, Germany, conducted a study of 817 patients with CLL who had never before received treatment. We uh, recruited in a randomized phase three trial more than 800 patients in uh, more than 11, uh, more than 100 um, sites and 11 countries, and found that uh, FCR is more efficacious than FC in uh, terms of higher complete remission rates and a higher number, a higher, a longer progression free survival, so time to progression. Also the overall response rate was a little higher for the FCR. So it's more efficacious. Next and important question is, is it safe enough? Because if you add one component, it could become a more toxic uh, drug or drug combination. And yes, we found more neutropenias, so uh, the combination caused a little bit more side effects in terms of the white blood cell count going down but it was to an extent which could be safely managed uh, because we saw no more infections in, two, in the two arms and uh, even more importantly in the patients older than 70 years we did not see an increased rate of severe infectious complications when we added the antibody. So in other words it seems to be more efficacious, it prolongs the time to progression and it is a safe um, treatment that can be given even to patients older than 70 years. Now, is this a clinically significant result in addition to a statistically significant result? Uh, the results are clinically very significant because if you have physically fit patients uh, with CLL who need treatment, you now have a uh, treatment combination that is prolonging the time uh, to the next treatment um, by about a year, and we expect that with a longer follow-up this time will even increase data that we have from phase two trials show that after the first treatment, the usual time to progression after FCR is between five to six or seven years. So it's a clear benefit and this trial demonstrates for the first time that patients have a new treatment option, patients with CLL have a new treatment option that is more efficient than the former treatment. Is this the new standard of care? With a note of caution because uh, I'm generally never assuming that uh, clinical work is so, or our studies are so important that one can say this. Yes, I would clearly um, say uh, if these data uh, become public on Monday, uh, they will change medical practice and uh, FCR is very likely becoming the new standard first line treatment for CLI patients. For the Elsevier Global Medical Network, this is Bob Finn.